Hey guys, and now that you're able to log into Blackboard and you have been able to watch this video, it means after logging into Blackboard, you went to my courses, you selected your marketing course, and then on the left-hand side, you selected course activities, my IT lab. So that then brings us to this particular uh, screen where it shows us uh, my IT lab. But your screen may be a little different uh, because I'm seeing it from an instructor, you are seeing it from a student view. So let me enter into the student view so that you will see exactly, uh, well, I will display exactly what you are seeing. So here, these are the links that you are now seeing. So I'm going to show you how to log into Pearson, how to get into Pearson. And once you are in Pearson, you can then access the Windows Simulator, which is what you need to be working, uh, working on. So here we need to click on My IT Course Materials. So that's the first step to click on that particular link. So once I click on that link, it's now redirecting me from Blackboard, it's now redirecting me to the Pearson system. And each of these steps may take a few seconds uh, to come to. Now, I've used the system uh, a few times, so it's brought me to this screen. But in your case, it could ask you to accept some terms and uh, conditions. So when that screen comes up, you need to click on I accept. Thereafter, it's possible that it may also ask you for a username and password. If it does ask you to log in using a username and password, then close that screen. There is no username and password. Uh, for you to enter. Close that screen and then just go through the process again. You may have to, you may have to go back and um, in Blackboard click on uh, my IT course materials again. And then the second time around, it will bring you to a screen like this. So this is the platform My IT Lab, which we're going to be using throughout this course. It's essential that you are familiar with this. Uh, you will notice that we've, there's an e-textbook uh, that you can look in, look at. Uh, and then there's a whole lot of chapters here. But the chapter that I'd like you to go into now is chapter 10. Right, try to locate chapter 10, getting started with Windows. So this is the first section that you are going to learn how to use Windows 10. Windows is an operating system. And without this operating system, the computer does not function. So it's important that you know how to use uh, the Windows 10 operating system. So let's click on that option. And once I click on that, it takes me to a screen here like this. In this screen, you've got two options. You've got the chapter 10 activities, and you've got the student resources. We are going to go into the chapter 10 activities. So that's that would be the next step. Click on chapter 10 activities. And again, it's going to load up all the activities for Windows. We're going to make use of a simulator. And this is really a nice platform that teaches you using simulations how to use Windows, not only Windows, but for now, it's a simulation that's going to show you how to use Windows. So we want to go to the simulation activities. So we will need to click on chapter 10, simulation activities. And now it's going to bring us to this window where we've got quite a few things here that's happening. But essentially, essentially, we are just interested in the first option. And the first option says Windows 10 simulation training. That's what I, I, I would like to go into. So 
obviously you would need to click on the simulation training. Once you click on the simulation training, it takes a few minutes and now it's loading the simulator. And once the simulator starts up, this is the interface. This is the window that you will now see. If it's not maximized, you can use this particular button, uh, this little icon on the top right hand corner, and that will then maximize and it will open up in the entire screen. So it's the simulator is made up of a screen, and this is what you normally see in the screen. At the bottom is a question that you have to answer. Uh, here you will see the total number of questions. In total, we've got 26 questions to answer, and we're currently on question one, and we can use these arrows to move forward and backward. And it shows that we have five attempts in answering uh, a question, one particular question. You've got five attempts in total. Now, if you don't know how to do the question, how to answer the question, then this is extremely important. There's learning aids. So you will click on learning aids, which will help you in solving this particular question. We'll look at that just now. Um, then we have um, view all, which will allow you to see all the different types of questions. And once you finished, make sure you save. Saving, so the next time that you come in, it allows you to continue from where you left off. So as I indicated, here is the question. So it says sign into Windows using the Microsoft account for my IT lab user. And this is the user. It says enter my IT lab 1234 as the password. Now, if I'm not sure what I need to do, then as I indicated, go to learning aids. You have a video that you could watch or you could practice. I'm gonna click on the practice. When I click on practice, it takes me to the With practice the environment. Point in the password box, type my IT lab one, two, three, four, and press enter. So there's a voice recording that tells you exactly what needs to be done. You can also read the question, which is what was recorded. The record, uh, the voice can be turned off if you want, but follow the, the red box. Uh, there's this red box which always uh, gives you a hint on what you have to do. So here now we need to type in the password and they tell us to type the password, my IT lab. So I'm going to type my IT lab, a one, two, three, four. And they then tell us to press enter. So when I press enter, it then, uh, takes us to the new screen, tells us that the practice was completed, a save password, I can close that, I don't need that. Now, after practicing, now I need to do exactly what I had done in the practice. So I click here and I type my IT lab, one, two, three, four, and I press enter. Uh, again, I can close that and it says question one is complete. So that is, and now it's moving on to question two. Uh, here you will see you are on question two of 26 and there is now a new question at the bottom that you need to answer. Now, when you read this question, it says display the home page of the settings window. I have no idea where the settings window is. So again, let's go to the learning aid and let's go to practice to see where the settings window is. On the taskbar in the notifications area, click the action center icon and then click all settings. Right, so there, that was the audio and there's the red box that's guiding me. So this is where I need to click on uh, when to go to the display, the settings window. Uh, and when I click there, it then brings me to this particular window and it's telling me I now need to click on all settings. And that's how I get to the settings window. So the practice is completed. So let me do that, right? So it was, uh, I needed to click on there, it is here. 
bottom right hand corner. So let's click on that. And it then told me to click on new, all settings. And I was able to come to this particular window. So that got me to the first part. Now, the second part wants me to change the desktop background to the picture butterfly.jpg located in that folder. Now, again, I don't know what to do, so I'm going to go to the practice session. That's going to instruct me exactly In the how. settings window, click personalization. So again, I'm just turning the volume down. It tells me I need to click on personalization. When I the click on that, picture, click browse. It, I need to now click on the look for the browse option. Uh, and then I need, there we are. I In now the find dialogue. the picture. Click choose picture. And then click on choose picture. There we are. So it's instructing me step by step. Now try it yourself. So I'm going to now try, go through that process. Remember, it was personalization. Then I remember it was browse. So I just scroll down and I look for browse. There it is. I click on browse. And the picture was butterfly.jpg uh, JPG, and then click on choose picture. So that has now been done and the highlighted. So look at the highlighted. The next part is highlighted. So there were many different parts to this question. And the first part was to display the home page settings. And now I am change the lock screen image. Lock screen. I can go to practice. But I just saw something here that says lock screen. Let me experiment a little uh, because it's about putting a page. So maybe it's the same process, lock screen, and there's a browse. And the picture is Bahamas. And there's the Bahamas.jpg. And then click on choose picture. And, um, and then it says close the settings window. I know that to close a window, I click on that particular cross. But remember, if I didn't know how to close it, I'll go to my learning aids. So I'm going to close it and let's hope that yeah, there we are. Question is now complete. So this is how the simulator works. I'm now on question number three. Uh, as I indicated, view all uh, can take you directly to a particular question. However, we'll go through things in sequence. And remember, when you finished, click on save. Click on save so that you're not going to finish all 26 questions at one sitting. So you save it. And during the course of the week before your next lesson, make sure you complete all of the questions. But you can save them as you're going through each of them. Uh, this is basically the simulator. I hope that it helps you in terms of using it and um, make sure that you complete all the tasks that are assigned to you. Until the next time, thank you and take care. Bye.